Oh, you're looking pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Are you kind of drunk? I feel very happy. Man can tell. I'm very happy. I'm fulfilled. <laughs> I'm very glorified. <laughs> I just want to enjoy my 21st. <laughs> He's drunk. Oh, yo. Oh, no, you're not sorry about that. <laughs> You're the YouTuber. Mm, the YouTuber. Friend watches you, innit? Oh, really? I need to relax though. I need to actually just chill. Because right now, I feel. No, it's not. Everybody got time to go all the way to play. One get. You want it? Yeah. Mommy, next Let me time see I yours. see you. I will have money in ages. Not good. You look alright. Need to be redone now. We're at the spot, probably for the last time this year. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, so nostalgic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why everyone thinks I'm tall because I'm always holding it like this. So when, they, when you guys meet me, you're always like, oh my god, you're so small. I thought you were so much taller. It's just because all my other friends are shorter than me. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. He looked at me like, bitch, what? <laughs> and I'm usually in heels. We're all about the same height. But I'm usually in heels, so I look like, and I'm always holding it at, I'm always holding my camera at an angle, so I look taller than everyone else. But I'm not. We are seeing Star Wars. I told you guys my camera was broken, innit? And I told Olu. And everyone felt my pain. And he's asking me how much I have it fixed. So tell me. 228. It's 190 and then VAT just top, top, top the lot. It was a pinch to the pocket. Especially the week of Christmas. The last thing I needed to do was spend 228 pounds on the fix the camera. So my sister had a baby last week Thursday and I think I've explained this in my previous vlog that in our tradition, Nigerian tradition, we name new babies eight days after they are born. So for the first like week, we just call the baby baby because <laughs> no one's trying to give names out or anything like that. And I love my culture, I love my tradition, I'm so used to it. I did the same thing for Coco, we named him seven days or eight days after he was born. My big sister, Nimi's mum, had a baby and my other sister had a baby as well three days before my big big sister so there was just babies flying around last week literally my mum became a grandma twice in one week two girls two baby girls two baby nieces so i have two new nieces to add to the family so we're naming the baby today or they're naming the baby today it's going to pick up the fam bam because everyone's up in kent and then we're going to head over to the granddad's house where they're going to name the baby there I hope you guys enjoyed the previous vlog. Thank you for your wonderful comments. You guys are so sweet, honestly. You guys make me laugh. Like when I read your comments, some of you spot some things that I didn't even spot, and it's really funny to me because then I see the vlog in like a whole new light, which is nice. When you edit something for so long and you're watching it over and over and over again, it can become quite boring, especially as I've lived it and then having to edit it for like hours and sometimes days on end it can be a bit boring but when you guys watch it and you leave your comments it just really like makes me see like something else in it which is really nice so that's why I, I like when you guys comment I know I don't really respond to comments I'm gonna get back into the habit of doing that I'm really awful I do it on like everything it's not it's not me being proud or anything I just I don't know, I'm gonna get back into responding to comments, I promise you, or I'll just get Olu to do it, Olu loves doing it, Olu likes talking to you guys, he absolutely loves it. So yeah, that's all I have planned for today, it's New Year's Eve in two days, I don't usually do anything on New Year's Eve, I usually go to church, it's just been a tradition of mine, I've never been to a party on New Year's Eve, never been out on New Year's Eve, I've always either been in church or been in my house, I just don't want to break that tradition either, because I feel like the day I decide, let me go to Clubhouse New Year's Eve, is the day something bad's gonna happen so i always keep the clubbing for new year's day 31st stroke first i'm always in church or i'm always at home in my bed keep it simple i don't know if i'm going to show you much of the naming ceremony just because that's private although i share my nephew on snapchat she doesn't mind at all my brother-in-law also doesn't mind at all things like this naming ceremony i don't i just don't think it needs to be shown but I mean if you guys have any questions on like the traditional side of things I'm happy to, to answer them in the comments Just drop them down below But yeah I'll tell you her name And I might show her to you guys I might She's so precious honestly I'm at my sister's again Your sister's? Because she's a single mother 
Esther, don't be snapchatting this one. <laughs> Esther, my gal. I was talking and you inter- You know what, Esther, I'm actually going to Uncle Tola, I was talking you and you were interfering. How are you join Snapchat, Esther? <laughs> this is not even to- Snapchat. What's this one? It's my vlog. Oh, okay. Okay, can you start again, Mr. Ah. Delete, delete. Start okay, again. delete. I'm at the Longer residence. <laughs> what do we say? <laughs> I'm with my, I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm, I'm come to see my brother and my sister and their baby. I've come to see my brother and the sister and. Not the sister, my, my brother and my sister and their baby. <laughs> and their family. Mm-hmm. I've come to see my brother, my sister, and the baby. And their family. And the babies. So we named her yesterday, and um, she's got several names, several hundred names. But we're calling her Farayola, right? Yes, Farayola. Farayola. So her name's Farah. Tidora, as my mom was saying. Theodora. Theodora. <laughs> Theodora. Omotola. Oluwa Misimi. Oluwa Misimi Longe. She's got lovely names. Abigail. <laughs> She's asleep. Don't look at Abby. She'll be faster, not Nimilo. Mama started with that. She looks just like Nimilo. <laughs> Nim Nim, come say hey. Nimilo, come say hi. Dada. I don't know what to say to you guys anymore. I don't want to say hi, guys. Oh boy. So mediocre. Oh my day. Oh no, they complain about my camera already. <laughs> Abigail's throwing a surprise get together for Mithola and her fiance. Having a surprise! So you guys have to keep quiet. <laughs> hey, I know! What happened? At least act a little bit surprised, David. <laughs> Happy birthday, David. Hello. David's a big free of. How do you feel? Oh, I'm sorry, this is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, <laughs> <laughs> this vlog is gonna be called Abigail's Life is Getting Married. <laughs> Lydia, make sure when you say this, when you say this, make sure you mean it because the day is gonna happen where you need me. I don't hmm? need you. Oh, okay. Let's let, let, let's be going. Come on, let me take my feet and let's be going, guys. People that are leaving in 2016. Wait, let me get your face as you say this bullshit. Number one, Esther Live. Number two, Esther Graham. Number three, Esther Ray. Number four, Esther. Number five, Esther Ariola. <laughs> Leaving you in 2016. I'm gonna walk in 2017 like this. Let me explain. She says, Esther, is today a bank holiday? And I'm like, today is not a bank holiday. The post office is closed. Does, does that mean it's a bank holiday? The Just because the post office closed. is closed, it's a Saturday. Don't listen to your friend. Are they open on a Saturday? Is your friend really your friend? And some shops in the city don't open on weekends. I'm sure if you went to the post, post office, office in my area, it'd be open, or the one in your area, I'm sure it'd be open and probably close at four. Don't listen to her. And I asked, she was like, it's a bank holiday, the post office going to be open. I was like, it's not a bank holiday, so they should be open. Mm-hmm. But it turns out they were not open. Got she got played. I got played. But you can it's send it off on the second and it will get there on the third. That's you can even send it on the third and it will get there on the fourth. Oh, but bad. don't listen to me because apparently I don't know nothing. I'm running away from you. So you don't want to leave me in 2016. I'm going to leave you behind in 2016. We're hungry, so we're going to Bum Kitchen to eat. Lydia and my nail broke this morning and I've come to fix it in the shop. This one broke the other day and this one broke this morning so I just figured I'm just going to change the colour and um, fix the nail. Hey look at all these. Really fresh. <laughs> Seven please. Thank you so much for that. I love elevator music. <laughs> It's so the most awkward music ever. <laughs> We're going out tonight. Hey, what up, hey. what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? This hair is so deceptive. Don't believe it, it does. I know. I, I have a knack for that. Awful. I'm waiting for Toba. We're going to go soon, I believe. <laughs> 
Happy New Year from me and you I feel like my dress may have just split because it's really tight so I think it's just ripped We'll discover it in a minute Party time! Look at this piece of cake. This piece of honey. Dripping. Dripping. God damn. You can fuck if you feel like you want to. And we can do the things we are feeling need to. Hey, hey, Turk it, Turk son, Turk son, hey. TV, TV stuff fake. But, yeah? Bye. 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 Why is he so quiet? He's cute, isn't it? So cute. Why are you upset, Olu? Are you trying to shit? It's actually right. gonna drop. Yeah. It's 2017. Olu, are you gonna give it a ring? No, it's 2017. Why? When, 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 when it's ready. When the time's right. <laughs> when the time is right. What's strong? We're gonna Money. Listen, listen, you I need a motherfucker here. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't need no motherfucker. I need someone to bring me up. <laughs> He's your number. I need someone just to, to, to drink some look with it. <laughs> to bring you up. It's gonna bring you up. I don't want no fuck for you. Love you, boy. Do you feel the same? I don't want no fuck for the <laughs> Bye, honey, bye. Bye. Your food. Your food. Your food. Just leaving the gym. Had a workout session with Tala and a special guest. Look who joined us today. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the workout video that Tala and I did, um, I'm gonna put it up in the card somewhere. Or it might come up at the end of the, of the video. So watch out for that. Daddy, yo, I'm looking down. I hate that song. Oh, it's such a stupid song. I bought some storage bags today guys because I'm doing up my room I don't know if I told you but I'm like trying to do my room I got rid of my old bed I got rid of my old chest of drawers I got rid of like all the shelving that I had up there because it just needed to go and I've bought a new chest of drawers from Ikea I need to go and get like one or two things from Ikea again mm. but because I have just so many damn jumpers I have a lot of thick like jumpers and knitwear and stuff and um, it takes up way too much space to put it in my cupboard so I bought these suction storage bags so i'm gonna put them all in a storage bag suck all the air out of it which basically takes it from being this big to like this small and i'm gonna put it in the drawers of my bed because my bed has drawers i'm gonna put it in there um just to save space i watch your blog every time i turn really? yeah i see myself every time like yeah fine boy <laughs> Off to district, do some filming for Toba's 
it's a reality TV show. I thought you said it was double. I don't like my makeup today, I don't know. It doesn't look lit. <laughs> okay, so. Don't worry, what? When she was getting too hot, I thought I was getting flings. Look at these guys. So they're setting up here. This is some stuff for. We're not hiding, you just break our privacy by putting your phone in our faces. Poor girl. We're doing this together, but I was just saying that like, this gym is so flipping cute. <laughs> My gym doesn't have all this stuff. Dirty bones. And I asked for the eggs to be well done. Um, excuse me. I asked for these to be well done. I asked for the eggs to be well done. So I thought we were just popping out to get McDonald's, so I put my slides and my socks on. I put my slides and my socks on. They want to go to Gail's bougie restaurant. I'm spending my money, so. Yeah, she's fake. <laughs> she doesn't really like you guys. <laughs> Yesterday she was like, I'm just and shy. you're probably gonna bring your camera. And I was like, yeah, definitely. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. I've got E in my vlog. You guys have to see, you have to witness this. C come here. Hi. My name is Lydia Dinga. I have they're a not going to let us in because you're being a mess. I'm so sober. Conception. This is a real thing. Are you mad? Where's Olu? I've made it. I've made it in life. This is, this is, this is, this is Olu. Look, I know you. This is what I'm saying. This is so weird. Nice to meet you, Esther. You're shaking hands. Are you alright? We have a drunk Lydia Dinga in the house. Why? Why? It's mad. It's a bit mad because I'm sober. <laughs> Let me tell you what. He didn't think it's a mess. Me and Emmanuel been together on the low key. We were on the track. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> we were on the field. I'm bare sober now. The jollof loves you. It's pretty. Goodness! Abigail's life! I've been the worst vlogger ever. All shall be revealed shortly. <laughs> I killed my cactus. How does someone kill cactus? I killed cactus. Is it? 
Yeah. I thought you just leave them, but apparently you have to no, water you have them. To water them like once in a while. But baby cactus, you have to water like once a week. Oh really? Apparently so. Oh, mine is mine died. Oh, three of them. <laughs> mine died too. That's quite sad. I thought cactus couldn't die until mine died. You guys look at my mouth. I can't feel side of my face and it's then just have a feeling and this part of my lips are dragging <laughs> and I felt like I'm about to like dribble everywhere I absolutely despise <laughs> I despise the dentist <laughs> so basically she gave me an injection up in my mouth to numb it guys look after your teeth look after your teeth the way you look after your body your teeth need extra care don't be like me I have no teeth left because I don't look after my teeth. Brushing is not enough. I even sat with how many cons um, um, personal trainers and they said you aren't get you're not getting rid you of that. You can't get rid of skin. You can't get rid of that. No, Gabby, Gabby, even Gabby. if I lose all the way in the world and become a size two. Tomorrow, Say hi. You'll be even worse. Yeah, and whenever the camera comes on, shouts like a human being. You. Say hey. No, nope, never. <laughs> Why are you running away? I've suffered enough embarrassment. Why? Ah! Esther, this is gonna be edited, right? <laughs> Parts of it, yeah. No, I have to be edited out. Or that's I'm gonna report you. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny because we're having a conversation about surgery, yeah, plastic surgery and stuff. And we were watching a girl on YouTube who's had her like bum done, BBL. And Abby, obviously, you guys know Gabby Abby, she's quite like voluptuous, she's curvy, she's got a really big booty. And everyone's always like, oh my god, body goals, body goals, body goals. But Abby always complains about clothes not fitting her. So we were just saying today, like, as much as people love surgery, and they love how it makes them look and how like maybe more confident it makes them feel I've told you guys that I've had my boobs done and I was just saying to like my friends I never really anticipated how much it would change the way I have to present myself my breast operation I would wear anything braless absolutely anything I'd wear dresses braless tops braless I'd wear bandu tops out like I could wear absolutely anything up until I had my boobs done I wore a particular dress and my sister called me, she was like, why are you trying to show them off? And I was like, like genuinely, I just wore the dress because I like the dress. So from that day, I knew that I couldn't just wear things how I wanted to wear them because it's going to look a certain way. Fine, cleavage is good. Yeah, it looks nice with dresses and it looks cute and stuff. But I couldn't just be that carefree, like wear it without a bra. I had to now be careful. And Abby was just saying that Abby has a, she has a rather like large booty. Which is just like nothing fit. The waist might fit, but the bum area might be tight. The waist might be big, everywhere else might be perfect. And Abby's sister was also just saying that that's why sometimes she doesn't like wearing dresses. Yeah, right? don't wear dresses. She doesn't like wearing don't dresses. Wear jumpsuits. She they can't wear jump. No. Abby was like, she can't wear jumpsuits because they don't fit. Yeah. Dresses so. is a problem. No, anything that's not bodycon, I can't wear. Anything that's not bodycon, she can't wear. Anything not bodycon, not wearing. Because it's either this part fits, this part's too tight, or this part. Abby's top tight. half is very small. Yeah, like. <laughs> like, her, no, her top half is very, very small. It's literally just this and this. That is it. So yeah, no, we're not saying surgery is bad or anything. Don't get us wrong. We're not saying like it's bad, but we're just saying there are downsides. There are downsides to having bigger and fuller areas of our body. I've got the entire crew. We're having, um, well, I'm having nacho squid and chips, and we're gonna bowl soon. We're waiting for her family member because lateness runs in the family. Oh. Get out! <laughs> What did she do? She, she got the pole sign. <laughs> did you get a strike? Strike, baby! Wow! Strike. Gabby Abby broke our lane. It's not doing anything anymore, guys. You need to get someone to come and fix it. Okay, go. Just do the goal, please. It's invisible. It's invisible. Move. <laughs> pretty much been the entire January. The next vlog is gonna be Abigail's mum's funeral. I don't know if I want to put that in this one or put. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So if the funeral was part of this vlog, then maybe because it just felt right as a good way to like end. Not good, but 
it made more sense to just end that entire kind of chapter in one vlog because literally mummy was still around the beginning of this vlog and it just so happened that at the end of this vlog she's not with us anymore that's it tonight was really good and i guess i'll see you guys when i see you guys next time Therefore, commit a body to be buried. It's all right, it's all right. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust okay. to dust, trusting in the infinite mercy of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.